Okay, so we're going to talk about our the Global Bay mobile iPhone solution. As you can see here, you've got a sled, you've got a top cover for the sled, and you've got an actual iPod Touch. So let's go ahead and slap this guy in. Mind you, this is the exact same configuration that's being used at the Apple stores today. Turn this guy on. And I'll actually launch our uh, iPhone application, our iPod Touch app. At this point, this is the login screen. This login screen allows me to actually authenticate against your enterprise point of sale system. Uh, and that is, uh, that could be anything. And that's the beautiful thing about the software is that we are back in agnostic, more specifically point of sale system agnostic. I'm going to quickly log in here. Uh, all right. So that's how they're authenticated into the system. I have the ability to actually look up a customer, to actually perform a transaction, or skip this part and actually go right to doing a transaction. So at this point, I'll actually go ahead and take a scan sheet, some sample barcodes. Now what's going to happen is every time I scan, uh, the scan sheet is actually going to authenticate against the point of sale system and actually pull up SKU values and price. Now why this is different from other software companies out there uh, that, are, you know, that are touting a hardware solution the, the challenge there is that's just an independent uh, credit card processing app where there's really no tie into a back end system. This is a tie into a back end system which gives you full control of your point of sale system on an iTouch. As you can see here, I've got a payment option, I've got a discount option, change quantity, plus we can also adapt any features to your point of sale system very simply onto the iPhone or iPod Touch in this case. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and hit the pay payment screen. I can manually type in the value here or through the nice design of this hardware unit. I can very simply swipe the credit card and I'll take my American Express, swipe this guy right here. And as you can see, it's going to process, authenticate, and uh, give me an authorization and start the actual process of uh, performing a signature. Here, I can use my finger or I can use a special stylus uh, to actually do the signature, but in this case, I'm going to use my finger. Continue on. At that point, uh, my transaction is complete. I can either print a transaction, which I'm going to do right now. And as you see here, there is a, uh, a, a, a Wi-Fi oriented printer. Um, and this can be any printer. Uh, we just happen to use the Datamax O'Neill only because it was convenient. Uh, but again, this is using a Wi-Fi wi protocol in which to do the transaction with. So let me go ahead and it's processing. and you've got your transaction done with the receipt and the barcode printed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we do a suspend retrieve as well. Um, for this part I'll click on finish. So I'm going to go ahead skip this process again. Actually I'm going to go ahead and scan a couple of these barcodes. Now let's say I want to take debit but I don't have the ability to take debit I can suspend the transaction right here. You show what suspend and what it will do is when I click on yes it's going to print a receipt, a suspend transaction here. As you can see here, it's got my actual transaction information as well as a barcode scan. Now, let's let me pretend that I'm actually back at a point of sale terminal that does take debit. I can scan this barcode, pull, pulls up my transaction, click on pay. Here, take my credit card, swipe it here. And now I can do my signature. Click on continue. And print again. Now that's the power of Google Bay's mobile point of sale software for iPhone and other solutions in retail.